I'm a big fan of I was I, I was a big fan of DX growing up, and I always liked there mm. being like a strong woman in factions, like a China. And I, I kind of like that we're slowly seeing that a little more. Like we've got Rhea and the Judgment Day, and we've got Mia in the OC, and it's it's cool to see the women kind of being involved in these faction wars too. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. I mean, she's she's the equalizer of the group, and I mean, she's I think she's uh, she's she had such a cool element because everyone's seen, you know, AJ Styles. They've seen the good brothers with AJ, they know what we have. And then just, it just adds a whole nother really cool element um, with her. And she's so, and she's so, she really is so cool and she's so nice. And she's got like this visual charisma that um, the WWE really hasn't got a chance to see yet because I think she was in NXT before. And I, and she, I think her only chance up on the main or up on raw before was with that uh, group with them. She had a mask on or something, but yeah, retribution. Um, bam. And, so I think it's good that she can be her now, and like, like I said, we're with we're itching to get to get to get the OC moving. Well, and I think that she also matches the vibe of the group because I think that even though you all play <clears throat> have like different kind of roles that complement each other, I think that she kind of like you guys kind of have like a party vibe a little bit to a certain degree. You're kind of like roasting each other, having fun, having a good time, but also kicking ass. And I, I think that she does match that. She's been roasting Shelton Benjamin on social media for years. She, she can, she can kind of like bust people's balls and, and, and that kind of thing. And I feel like it matches your guys' vibe. She fits right in. Like, like dude, she didn't know her at all. Just said, hello, just a couple of handshakes. And now she's a full fledged, you know, give her a hug. Glad, good to see her sit and catering and laugh and, and talk. Cause like, I mean, she's, she's as good as they come and And she's a badass in the ring too. Do you think that she's technically part of Bullet Club now? Is this, does she does she count? Hands down. Okay, all 100%. right. You're a Bullet Club OG, <laughs> so I know that your word really matters in this. So I'm, I wasn't sure. No, hundred hundred percent, all the way down. Fits fits in perfectly with with the uh, with the whole vibe of what what the Bullet Club was built on. Do you think that Bullet Club will be a, your legacy in wrestling? Yeah, probably. At, you know, I think most people think of me as uh, as a Bullet Club guy, probably for uh, probably forever. But then, you know, WrestleMania week, we didn't have anything going on or not much going on, but we still went to uh, we went to Staples Center or what's it called now? Uh, so far, um, yes, no, 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 no. The uh, oh, Crypto dot com Arena. Crypto, yes, crypto. It's still com. Staples to all of us in LA. It's okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, still. But as I was as we we're walking up, there was probably just say there was a couple hundred fans outside the arena, and all they start they didn't start screaming. Get, there's Gallows and Anderson. They didn't they didn't scream Bullet Club. They were screaming. There's the OC, and it like caught us off guard because we don't we're not referred to that often. Even though I know the WWE world knows this is that. It's just it, that caught us off guard. So for now, I think Bullet Club will be. But it, we'd I'd like to turn the OC especially this year, into something that can be special. 